Well, hello, hello. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I realized when I initially proposed and told y'all about this channel, it was supposed to be plants, politics, and whatever else I felt like talking about. Well, I haven't given y'all much plant content, so I thought I might rectify that. And let's go ahead and just do a quick and fun video, really quickly just going through my top 10 favorite philodendrons. Philodendron is without a doubt my favorite plant species, class, whatever it is. Um, there's a lot of them, obviously, and on my plant collecting adventures, I've owned a ton of them. Now, typically what I do is I buy a plant, I figure out if it likes me, if I like it, if we get along great and it ends up, you know, being one of my favorites, then I keep it, obviously. Sometimes I even cut them up, propagate them, make money off them, keep the cycle going. Other times a plant is just not for me. And so there's a lot of philodendrons that I've owned that I have later sold or given away or just get out, you know, killed maybe. Anyways, let's go through some of my top favorite philodendrons. I'm going to go in order. And so I've listed them in order. Uh, I'd love to see if you agree with this. If you own any of these, if you don't agree, let me know in the comments. Also, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and that you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when I drop new content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I had a really hard time limiting this to 10. I actually whittled it down to 11. And so I'm going to start with our runner up. So this one didn't quite make the list. And I think you're going to be pretty surprised about what our runner up is. Then I will go ahead and go down the list and we'll end with our number one pick. All right. So are you surprised? I bet you are because this would be at the top of a lot of people's list. I get it. It is, of course, the, the infamous philodendron pink princess. And I don't know. Um, I've definitely just figured this plant out in the last four to six months. And before that, uh, I had gone through three of these, killing the first two, or at least, you know, kind of mutilating. We won't go into that, though. But essentially, I finally figured out what this plant wants, and it wants a lot of light, or at least this particular one does. It wants a lot of light. It wants to be directly under the grow light, not to the point where it's getting burnt, but it wants to be close. And as you can see, I'm starting to finally get some good pink on my leaves. But before that, I wasn't getting much of anything. All the leaves were just kind of coming out blah. And so it just kind of gave me this feeling that the whole pink princess thing was highly overrated. Now, in the last four to six months, I've kind of come to appreciate this plant more, and it has definitely moved up the list. Um, but I would still say that it's, it's not one of my favorites. Um, but it might be your favorite. But I would say if you are getting problems with the leaves just not throwing out much pink, give it some more light. All right, now for our number 10. Number 10, official spot. We've got the Florida Ghost. I do love this plant. I love this. Now, this has been at the top of my list at times. And I actually just got done cutting about four or five um, spots for propagation. So cutting in between the nodes, about four or five spots. So as you can tell, it was, it was very, very tall. Um, and so we've got it down to a reasonable level at this point. I'll bring, bring this back a little bit so you can see the full plant here. Um, actually, it has a little spider that's doing its thing. It's a real spider, not a spider mite. Um, I make, I've finally made friends with spiders a little bit. Um, they definitely help keep the pests in, in check. And so I let them do their thing, which, which is very new for me. Um, anyways, as you can see, we've got the, the next beautiful white, white leaf here. Love it. Love how white the new leaves come out. It's so much fun. And then they harden off into this green color. 
that's just a really, really fun plant. I like plants that do something. Like, they have to have something interesting about them. And you'll probably notice that as we go through the list. All right, the next one on the list is another one that used to be in my number one spot, but it's fallen. This one coming in at number nine is the Philodendron Mamii. Some people call it silver cloud. I don't know if that's a different like actual variation of it or if they're just trying to get fancy with it. But I love this plant so much and it was really doing so well until I literally skipped a watering. And so I water this every week, every Sunday or Saturday or whenever I feel like it. They get watered, all of them, and I skipped a week. And most of my plants did pretty well with that. However, Mamie I did not like it. And as you can see, I got a lot of browning around the edges on a couple of the leaves, which I don't know, it just kind of broke my heart a little bit. And so it, it took a plummet on the top 10 list. I'm, I'm not going to deny it, um, even though it was all my fault. So I'm sorry, sweetheart. What is really cool about this one, I'll see if you can, if I can get a little closer so you can see it here, is the pedial which is where the plant actually connects to the leaf. What is on my finger? Is that a spider again? Anyway, so if you can see, it's kind of got these like ruffles, like ruffly ridges. I really like that. That is a pretty cool feature. I like the backs of the leaves. Um, and it's got a big old stem, right? Going down the middle, which is really cool. But it's got a very, very gorgeous, big, fancy leaf. I love me some big, fancy leaves, y'all. Uh, but yeah, this is the mania. And I'd say outside of don't ever forget to water it on time, this has been an actually pretty easy philodendron to, go, to grow as well. So if you're considering getting one of these or if they're on your list, 100% go for it. Just remember, she could be a little bit drama if you don't give her her drink, as I think we all can be. All right, so number eight on the list is the Philodendron Bilete, Bilete, Billy, I don't know. Anyways, I love the orange stems on this one. Let me show you the, the new leaf that's coming in in the back. You can see how orange this gets. And really, if I probably gave it a little more light, um, it would probably be even oranger. This one actually may need a repot soon because it's got some roots growing out the bottom. Um, but I just love how big and pretty these leaves are. And this is pretty small leaves um, compared to how big they can get. And so just a really fun plant in that it gives me kind of those tropical vibes. And I don't know, I just like it. I've had this one for a really long time. It's kind of one of the OGs that has managed to stick around. Um, I've never chopped it. Um, yeah, and probably never will. Um, I'm just waiting for these leaves to get, you know, the size of Connecticut and, and then we'll be happy. So, <laughs> all right, for number seven, and you could probably barely see me, but I'm literally holding this vine that goes all the way to the other side of the room. This is a Philodendron Campo or Campo Sportanum. Another one of the OGs, but this is one that I propagate all the time, regularly. Um, and people just love this plant. The leaf shape changes as the plant matures. And so, also get a look at those aerial roots. And I've got some really long ones. I'm actually going to grab my cell phone so I can give you a little better view of this guy. So yeah, here is the Philodendron Campo. And as you can see, it goes on and on and on and on. And look at those aerial roots. Like, look at that. That's insane. These aerial roots get so long. And look at this one right here. What? What is that? I just love it. All right. This one's going to be a little hard for me to get the entire plant in the picture. And I cannot pronounce the name of this plant for the life of me, but... Coming in at number six is the Philodendron Paraiso, Paraiso Verde, Paraiso Verde, close enough. 
This one has beautifully like mottled variegated leaves. Let me see if I can actually get this up close enough. I'm like, it's hitting the, it's hitting the ceiling at you <laughs> at this point, y'all. This one was just a couple really tiny leaves at the bottom when I got it, uh, probably nine months or so ish. I'll see if I can insert a picture of, of what it looked like when I first brought her home. And now she is literally all the way up there. <laughs> I've actually used a um, cannabis uh, stem to support her because I ran out of co cocoa totem poles. Um, but she's a big girl. Um, now, I will say that when I first got her, the first three leaves that I got under my care came out almost completely reverted or very, very little variegation. And so I almost chopped her, almost, because they say to give it three leaves. And if you don't have any variegation after that third leaf, then go ahead and chop it back to the point of last variegation. Well, I didn't end up chopping it. I waited and that, and that last leaf right before I was gonna chop it actually came out quite variegated. Um, again, it needed light. It just needed more light. And so if you're having an issue with your plant, whether it be variegation or it's just not getting along well, or you're certainly if you're having any problems with your propagations, I found in my scenario, it's usually an issue of not having enough light. And so make sure you check that out before you ditch it, sell it, whatever. So number five on the list is the Philodendron Squamiferum. And this one was one of my first wish list plants, like top of my wish list plants. I wanted one so bad because of the fuzzy pedials. Y'all, I am a total sucker for some fuzzy pedials. And so let me see if I can show you what these look like a little closer here. They are fuzzy and they are red. And what's funner than that? I mean, for real. And you can tell that my main stem in the center here is all getting woody and hardened now. So the, the plant is maturing. It's getting quite tall. The leaves are getting quite large. Still putting off tons of new growth. It did slow down for a while recently. I've noticed that this one, it kind of, it kind of grows in patches. So it'll shoot out three new leaves over the course of a couple months. It'll be going great. And then it'll just kind of go dormant for a while. Even in the middle of the summer, it just went dormant for a while before putting off this latest leaf. And so I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm not sure if any of y'all have experienced that, but love the leaf shape, but it really comes down to those fuzzy pedials for me. And in terms of fuzzy pedials, I have an even better one for you. Now, I love my varicosum, and she's over there. She didn't quite make the list, only because I'm mad at her, because I took a few cuttings off the top. She was getting quite tall, took some cuttings, and for whatever reason, my varicosum cuttings, none of them made it. Well, one of them's trying to do something, but basically none of them made it. All my other cuttings did fine. I've never had a problem with cuttings, um, but it didn't make it. But anyways, besides the point... This one has the best fuzzy pedials I've ever seen or ever had. And this was a philodendron squamiculi. Squamic? Squamicule. I don't know. You'll hear me say that a lot. I really don't know what they're called, and I really don't care. I just like them. Anyways, I, I got into looking at it on my own a little bit too much. Um, this one has really soft, whereas the, the squamiferum pedials are more of kind of a, a, a really kind of coarse textured um, fuzziness. These are just really, really soft. Like imagine peach fuzz. I love it. And even like the, the leaf sheath or whatever you want to call it, the, the thing that you always pull off, you know, when your leaf's trying to come out, like this one's trying to come out right now. And I should probably pull this thing off to let, to give it some room. But this thing's fuzzy too, and so I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to pull it off. I like it. Um, the leaves on these aren't as cool. Um, they're a little less fascinating, but for this one, it is all about that stem or that pedial. I just love it to death. 
it is super soft and it reminds me of a teddy bear and I like it. All right, now for the number three spot, you've only got to look right behind me. It's actually my philodendron micans. Now I know this is a really common philodendron, but it's gonna always be one of my favorites. And if it's not one of your favorites, what the heck are you doing? I mean, what, why? I love it so much. Why do I love it? Well, it's been a super fast grower for me and I'll grab the cell phone in a minute so that I can take a little bit of a closer um, shot so that you can really see this thing. But I love the velvety texture of the leaves. I love the sheen. I love that, that it's kind of got that iridescent um, color to it. So it's not just green, but they kind of start out this um, orangish pinkish sheen to the green and then they harden off to that darker green and then when you happen to get a little bit too much light on them they turn this glorious like fall autumn red orange color and I love that too and so sometimes I'll purposely just kind of give them a little bit too much light but let's go ahead and get a little bit of close-up so you can see what I'm talking about but here she is um and let me just I mean let me show you like the newer leaves are always the prettiest and sometimes you can not sure if it'll really show up on the video if I can get those different colored sheens it might not but I mean I can tell you that I can see it from here it's very it's almost metallic and it's just so pretty it's just really really pretty pretty plant and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going I mean she is a grower and a shower she show is yeah I really like her and she as far as like my zoom background I mean come on y'all this is gorgeous whenever I hop on a work call that's what I got behind me and I am all about it all right, number two on the list, and I'm so excited because we're getting really close to number one, and those of you who follow me on Instagram may be able to tell what my number one is, but let's not skip over number two because she gorgeous. This is the Philodendron 69686. I actually got this, again, around nine months ago. Um, I think it's like most of my like top list plants I got around the nine months ago. So I don't know what it was happening nine months ago, but score. Anyway, so I got this one as a single leaf cutting. Somebody was so kind enough to sell me a just unrooted chop right off the mother plant, $20. And look how much she has done in just nine months. It's insane that original leaf ended up dying. So I was really, really sad and really scared that I was going to lose the plant. But as you can see, she did just fine. I made sure she had plenty of humidity. I actually used the perlite in a cup with a, you know, Ziploc bag over the top, that kind of trick. And it, and it worked fabulously. And right now I've got her in kind of a mixture of perlite and orchid bark and a little bit of soil but it's a really really chunky mixture and as you can tell she is loving it I think the last time I counted I had 17 or 20 something something of that um that many leaves on here and so she is doing very well and I can't wait to see the leaves get bigger and bigger and bigger as she matures without further ado Let's find out what we got on the play for number one. Probably none of y'all are as excited as I am, but this is my life. And here she is, glorious number one. This is my philodendron pasta or pasta zanum. And I mean, is an explanation really needed? I think not. Thank you for tuning in. No, <laughs> no, she has been an amazing plant. This is another one where I just got it when she was these two, these two initial leaves. And actually it had a third little tiny one that I actually just took off because it was starting to yellow. 
Um, as you can see, she's got another glorious, huge, big leaf about to open. And so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, now, uh, you'll notice on the, on the Mamie Eye, which has a very similar um, structure here, similar to the Gloriosum, and these typically lay on top of the soil. Um, but I decided that she really, really needed some support. And so we are going up the support pole and we're going to see how that ends up working out. And I think so far she's loving it. Um, and she just seems happier because her leaves aren't just going like awkwardly all over the place. Now they kind of have this uplifted purpose and they're getting a little closer to the grow light, which she likes too. So here she is. If you do not have one of these yet, you definitely need to get one. I love how the leaves are very like leathery. They look like leather, like if you had green leather and they're just super dark and they've got that nice vein going through the middle and probably one of my easiest plants. This one didn't throw a fit like Mamie I when I forgot to water her for a week. Um, she doesn't have any browning on the leaves at all. They all look absolutely amazing. And so for that and that alone and the size of the leaves, she gets that number one spot. So let's go ahead and put her off to the side. And I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. I know I owed y'all some plant content. Um, so which of these is your favorite? Which of your philodendrons at home is your favorite, especially if they didn't make my list? Which do I need to start keeping my eyes peeled for? And they may have already come through my household and made it out of my household if I either wasn't a fan or I just needed to make room for something else. That is the life of a plant collector. But these 10 or 11 are probably going to be staying put because I love them that much. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you get notified when I drop new plant related or politics related or anything I want related content. Have a great day. Bye bye.